One of the, what I would call, experts of losing weight, Bernard Fader, good friend of mine. Many thanks for com coming and chatting to us on it's race day. You've taken off a bit of weight. Um, it's an odd subject, obviously, Aldo taking off the weight on Charles Dickens. I've said if the horse had 51, I'd flip and try and ride the horse, obviously. Uh, what is the most weight you've taken off over, let's call it a period of, my, of time, to ride a horse? Um, when I was riding River Jetez overseas and a few of those horses were not travelling, they carried also 55 kilos, it took me six weeks of dieting and proper training. And Bernard, you, your diets, I mean, is it any specific thing? Is it, do you change those diets when it's your daily routine, but or when those horses come about, do you change your diet? Well, my, my way of dieting has changed a bit as, as time has evolved and uh, done different things that works for me. I think for me now it works the best is fasting. I fast, so I'll do a fast for like 18 hours and then eat again for a day and then fast again for 24 hours. So fasting works really well for me. I think we've heard of Garth Puller losing the weight to ride the one horse in, in, in the July and he was just eating rust. But as you said, times have evolved and you've tried numerous uh, diets. So you say that fasting now is the best for you. And when you get older, the meta metabolism slows down, exercise you have to pick up? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a touchy subject. Some people say, you have to work hard in the gym and all of that. And what I learned traveling, um, it's a lot of the European jockeys especially, um, they don't really gym a lot. What they do is um, do a, they ride a lot of work and obviously they ride quite a lot of races and they walk. They do like hour, two hour walks every single day, fast walking. Um, because for someone like me especially, that's really on the limits. If I train too hard, I end up putting on muscle. Um, like you can remember when we cycled. We bought bicycles. Those bicycles lasted a week. We said, they, oh, not a week. We tried them for a month and our legs started looking like sumo wrestlers, isn't it? Yes, I mean, I couldn't, my calves got big. I couldn't fit my boots in properly after like six weeks. You could see a difference. I mean, I got leaner and definitely fitter, but my, my weight was the same. And as soon as we, we stopped, we found that we ended up putting on a kilo. So it's 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 a, it's same basically for everyone. But for me, what works the best is walking. I, I don't even run that much anymore. I do a lot of walking with um, uh, sauna suits on. Um, I do my fasting. And if I've got a ride really like, let's say the occasion comes where there's a really good horse like um, Charles Dickens, I must be honest, I would have gone for it at 55 if he didn't want to ride it. So I'm glad. Yeah, it's a lot of dedication. I spoke with a lot of guys early on. And, and yours is every day. I mean, it's just, it's your, we said it's, it's more your job, your weight. It's not, riding is hard. Yes, riding's, riding's the easy part. Um, I think for, for every jockey, basically, everyone tries to ride just a little bit less. But um, for the heavier guys, it's, it's a little harder just because you've only got a limited amount of rides that you can ride in the scale. So you have to really work hard at it. Um, but it becomes a way of life. I've been doing it now. I mean, you know, when we left the academy, I was already top weight, like riding at 56 sort of thing as a young jockey. So right to my career, it's always been a struggle and it uh, becomes a way of life and I've accepted it and I enjoy the horses and the riding so much that um, I'm willing to sacrifice to do it. Now, Bernard, mine has changed in a couple of months. As you can see, I had bacon and eggs this morning. I put it down, I was like, geez, this doesn't normally, it never used to happen. So we used to have a little egg at, at breakfast and that's what you lived on for the rest of the day until you have dinner tonight. It's, it's a little bit scary, but it's, it's a jockey's life and people out there don't really know it. Um, just watching people ride, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that goes on. Yeah, you know, it's, what's really is annoying for me is when you'll get offered a ride and you say, listen, uh, on the day, please can I just ride an extra half over? And they go, why can't you make the weight? It's only half a kilo, but they don't realize that you've already sacrificed like two kilos of your body just to get to that weight. So, but I mean, that's just one of those things. Um, and it, it just comes with a job and I've accepted it. And while I'm enjoying the riding, I'm going to carry on doing it. But not 100 grams, how much of a difference does that make? A big difference because, as you know, at the scale, we get it, we're allowed to ride um, up to 400 grams overweight on the scale. And over 400 grams is registered as a uh, half over. And some people don't like the horses carrying a uh, half over, so that 100 grams does make a difference. So yeah, that's we, why my, I mean, for example, my saddle, um, fully equipped with everything, 
is uh, just under a kilo. I've yep. got it as light as it can be. And I think most of the, the international guys and I are, are very lucky that our equipment's improved a lot. Um, and my, all my equipment together is probably 900 grams. Yeah, that's crazy. Eh? Like you say, we've begged at the scale for 100 grams. Unfortunately, you've tried, you can only push a lemon as much. There's nothing else to come. But unfortunately, merit rating system, people, the, the horses pick up, pick up a penalty and things like that. But we just want to ride the horse, isn't it? No, exactly. And uh, yeah, just um, it's what's also been really nice over the years. Um, I remember top weight was 57. If that was the case, I wouldn't be riding now. So over the years, um, they picked up the weights and picked up the weights, which has has helped because unfortunately the population is getting bigger and bigger. Kids, I mean, you look at kids now. I mean, kids that are 14 look like they're 21. So it's yeah, just, just think, how the world look in the evolved. jockey room. How many jockeys do you see a lot shorter than us? There's not too many around. So those things have changed and. Yeah, it's as we say, it's a lifestyle. We really enjoy it. And Bernard, thank you very much for joining us. Um, you've taken off a bit of weight already, haven't you? Well, when you phoned me to this interview, I was having a hot bath this morning and I wasn't in the mood to come. But you caught me out on the way to Jock Room, so well done. Nice to chat about it anyway. Lastly, steak, fish, or chicken? This is at dinner time, not now. <laughs> Your favorite? Definitely steak. Best for the weight? Fish. Veggies, fruit? Veggies, always. Glass of wine, beer, or a whiskey? Glass of wine. Bernie, thanks very much. Thank That's Bernard Fader, but I'd like to call him not only a professional jockey, but a pre professional jockey weight analyst. <laughs>